Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do a spring book haul for you guys. So these are the books I received in the month of May as well as the month of June. I figured I would combine them both into one video considering I did not do a book haul last month. So I have a total of seven books to show you guys so I'm going to go jump right in and get started. So the first two books were sent to me by rev for review by the publisher which is Bethany House Publishing. I worked with them a lot on my blog which is always linked down below if you guys want to check them out. So the first book I have here is called Wings of the Wind which is by... Cunnelyn Gossett, Gossett. I'm so sorry if I butchered that name wrong, um, but this is a biblical fiction novel and I don't know much else about it. I've never read a biblical fiction novel but it did sound interesting and I just noticed last night that this is the third book in a series so I might have to check out the first two books first before I end up getting to this one to see what I think but I'll definitely let you guys know if I end up reading those first two books how I thought think about them. And the next book I received from Bethany House Publishing is called Heart on the Line, and this is by Karen Whitemore. And this is a hi uh, historical romance book that takes place in the West, I believe, and that's pretty much all I know about it. It sounded interesting when I uh, sent a request for it, so I'm definitely, hopefully going to get this to this next month because it definitely is catching my eye. So the next book I picked up uh, in the month of May and June was called How to Write and Sell Your First Novel. This is by Oscar, Oscar Collier and uh, Francis Spatz Layton. This is a book that, again, like it says in the title, tells you how to write and sell your first novel, which if you guys have been following my channel for about a year now, I told you guys about, I think last June, that I am in the process of writing a book. And I have not done much since I renounced it, uh, but this is hopefully going to give me a lot of tips on how I can improve my writing process and hopefully eventually write and complete a book and get it published. Uh, so I definitely need to check this out sometime next month. The next book I have here is called Infinity and this is by Tabitha Lord. This was a advanced writer's copy that I was sent to for review by the author. So thank you so much to Tabitha for sending me this book. Uh, this was on my Emojiathon read along TLR which I have a full video on that. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. And this is a second book in a series that is a young adult dystopian novel. I am really in the middle of reading the first book in the series right now, but you don't necessarily have to read it. The first book in the series to read the second one. I, I'm just jumping in to just because. Um, but I hopefully will get to this by the end of the month, but you guys will hear my thoughts on the first book at the end of my TE or my wrap up for this month. And the last, or the next two books, excuse me, are uh, books my mom picked up kind of on a whim at a local store. So this first book is called Marriage Game. This is by Allison Weir. This is a book about Queen Elizabeth I. And can we just talk about how beautiful this cover is? Oh my gosh. This is a historical fiction novel and it again follows Queen Elizabeth I. My mom's really into historical fiction so she'll probably end up reading this before I do. Uh, I think I'm going to read it in the fall because that's usually when I read historical fiction. So I'm definitely interested in checking this out. And along with that book, she also purchased this book, which is called Rose Harbor and Bloom. And this is by Debbie Mackhammer. And this is an adult romance novel. And again, this has a really, really pretty cover. I think it's absolutely stunning. And that's all I know about this book. She, again, she bought it on a whim, so I'm not too sure about it. But it is a romance book, so maybe I'll pick this up next month. And then the last book I have for this book haul isn't technically a book, but it's something that is in the book format. So this book is called 24 Hour Crochet Project, and this is by Rita Weiss. I love doing DIY projects when I'm not reading, so I have a whole channel dedicated to DIY. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check that out. Um, and crochet is one of my top uh, DIY, go to DIY stuff to do. Um, so this is a whole book on different kinds of crochet projects that. I can always check out and see if I want to do whenever I feel like it. So I'm definitely, definitely going to check this out. And that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have links to any videos mentioned. I will have them linked down below if you guys would like to check them out. As well as all my social media links on my Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, which you can find me on as at EvilQueenBooks. You can also check out my blog if you want to see any reviews I have yet to post here on the channel. They are all on there. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.